Hello guys, you once again welcome to your number one radio with me and Bell and it's 90 minutes past yeah, 12 actually and this is your best tuning radio where you'll be informed, transformed, educated and entertained. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much my subscribers, my listeners and my audience all over the world. So today we're going to talk about social media influence on politics. So when we say social media, everyone basically knows what social media is. But I'm going to dive into the deeper hand of social media and what influence actually means when it comes to politics and all that. So I want to say that influence is, is a con- contract law actually, where one person takes advantage of a position of power over another person. Sphere of influence in political science, an area over which states or organization. So influence is you taking an upper hand over someone or you take an upper hand over an organization or a state. Social media is also a platform where we can get information, share information and also access information. We have tools like Facebook, Twitter, we have tools like Instagram, Snapchat, etc. So I say, note this, people talk for retreat for themselves in the country, by the coast or in the hills. There is nowhere that a person can find a more peaceful and trouble-free retreat than in his own mind. So constantly give yourself this retreat and renew yourself. That's what I have for you. So let's continue with this and I say how has social media influenced politics? Social media, especially news that is spread through social media sites, plays a very great idea and the attention of the economy because it is found that news which is spread there actually takes political persuasion. Therefore, the more that people access social media platforms, the more informed they become. So political opinions can be affected, basically. So we have positive and negative effects of social media. A political scene that has changed to a considerably amount over the most recent few decades, that is social media, the web has played a very vital role in this social media site specifically because the present genuine factor in political crusades and in manner individuals consider issues because people actually listen to the news we listen to the news on social media more than on the in the newspapers and all that so leaders in India and their supporters actually use social media sorry to spread their agenda to spread all the propaganda they have so that's how fast social media is getting us. So I have about four points here or four negative and positive effects of social media on politics here. My first point here is future of politics with social sites. The future of politics with social sites. Since social media is generally new, we simply begin to see its effect on society because there are certain numerous political changes that are going to be affected because of social sites. Trust me, because there are present suggestions of webcasting, the voting, which could promote more individuals taking an interest in decisions. So decision making probably would turn into a way that would be taken basically on social media. And my next point here is confirmation bias. So one of the concealed powers that work via online media is confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is like it's a particular incredible with regard to dubious topic including political issues in case you are just like that. The vast majority, most of your companions via social media. So I say that co- co- confirmation bias is like um, the social media actually having a greater power via online where the leaders or the majority actually has regard for their propaganda, their agenda, their information on social media. And I say targeting. Targeting here is like focusing on the utilized information by publicizing the business or to ensure that advertisements reach the correct people. So the government officials actually use social media to reach out the information to their people. And I say that social media is actually getting the upper hand over politics. Because there were cases where, in centuries, where before you can communicate with your um, subordinates, so you can co- communicate with the citizenry, you would have to get a meeting where your information would be put out and it would be written in the newspapers and on TV and all that. But in this case, social media has become taken an upper hand over and um, politics. You can just go out there, sweat, Facebook, Instagram, and your information is all over the world. 
and we have rumors and fake news on social media pertaining to politics some politicians wouldn't have cut across and information out there but due to politics people would actually cut across the information out there through social media so people actually have um, the fake and rumors out there through social media that is what is actually affecting our country or a nation or the world today thank you so much for tuning in and if, if you just tune in once again it's your number one radio radio is there with me angie bell and thank you so much production team thank you so much my producer thank you all who listened always stay to listen to this chunk chap this is where tom will allow us and i will say bye for now stay tuned in don't forget this show is probably sponsored by royal luxury event and zonatai.com for all your luxury decorations for all your centerpieces for all your decorations you can don't forget to contact royal luxury events and zonatai.com for all your data stay tuned in don't touch the dial i'm out